So Steph, we know that it's an employer's market now. And I think I read recently that for every post, there might be around 300 or 400 application. And they're just interviewing 2% of that, like seven or eight people, and they're hiring one person. So if a person is applying online and not doing anything else, how can they stand out in this market? And we all we know that we tell career as career coaches that you need to do more than just apply. You need to do other activities like LinkedIn, networking, or other areas. So what are your advice in for people to stand out in this market? Mm -hmm. Yeah, applying online has become a lot more competitive, especially with remote work. People can apply from, you know, all over in North America to one job. Yeah. And so, um, you know, creating that resume that really is targeted to the job is mm -hmm. going to help you stand out a lot more. But also, you know, f three years ago, I would not have told people if they were, you know, an Ironman athlete or had a coaching certification that was unrelated to their work experience. I typically would have been like, you know, that's not really relevant. Let's just leave it out. Yeah. Nowadays, I actually encourage people to include that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I think that showcasing your hobbies and the things that you do on the side and how that contributes to how you could be a better employee to that organization can be really helpful. So for example, I had a sales, um, a sales executive who was also a certified yoga teacher. And so we talked about how being a certified yoga teacher allowed her to be more empathetic, understand what people are going through and just be, um, you know, a better listener throughout the sales process. And that really encompassed a little more of who she was and uh, definitely set her apart because not very many sales leaders can also yeah. say they're yoga teachers. So really leveraging their whatever uniqueness that you have in the job search can be really helpful. And of course, like you said, we need to be doing more than just applying online. Mm -hmm. So leveraging LinkedIn to network, reaching out to people, um, reaching out to people in your network and seeing if they know other people who might be able to, they might be able to connect you with. I'm going to um, I have a client who joined a, a pool. She joined a pool group. So she could go play pool and typically pool is a bunch of C-suite guys who love to get together after work and play pool. And so yeah. she's like, not only do I like pool, but I also get to network with all these C-suite guys who are, you know, leaders in their companies. And so she has been using that to leverage her network and see if there's mm -hmm. any other opportunities that they could provide her during her job search. Mm -hmm. So getting creative about the networking process, you know, again, about with the breaking the rules approach. Um, you know, what other, what kind of hobbies can you gain that might have people who might be helpful to your career search that you might be interested in? Yeah, those are great tips, Steph. Thank you very much. And again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, you can leave them below. So tune in next time for another great question with Steph.